Hi, this is Christy Whitman with the Quantum Success Show, where you can get your information and inspiration to create your desires. In this episode, we're going to talk about emotions. I know many of you have probably heard Abraham Hicks say that our emotions are our guidance system. So many ta people talk about negative emotions and positive emotions. And the truth is, is there are no negative emotions. There are emotions that have a low vibration and there are emotions that have a high vibration. There are emotions that feel good when we feel them and there are emotions that feel bad when we feel them. But look at each and every emotion as energy in motion because that's what it is. Emotions are there to teach us something. They're actually communication from you to you. Your soul is talking to you through your intellect and your emotions. So please first understand that there are no negative emotions. There's only different vibrational states. And as we know about law of attraction, emotions are information that goes out into the universe. And that's what we experience in our reality. When you resist your emotions or suppress or you know, really deny your emotions or cut off your emotions, remember that you are creating and manifesting and attracting still from those emotions. They're there. They're sending energy out that carries a vibration and that's information that goes to the universe. You might as well experience them, receive the communication and information from them, and then release them. You know, Abraham Hicks talks about when, you know, we don't pay attention to our emotions. It's like driving in your car and your gas gauge goes to empty. And instead of pulling over to get gas, you stick a happy face sticker on your gas gauge. You know, you're still going to run out of gas. And as my depth mentor, teacher, and creator of the Energy Mastery for Advanced Coaching course, Karen Lamarck Wilson also describes this as having a nice big bowl of poop and then taking out the whipped cream and putting it all over the poop. You still got poop. I mean, there's love and light, and then there's, you know, there's love and light. And there's something to be said, that, oh, it's okay, it's all just love and light. You know, when we can really allow the emotions that flow through our bloodstream, that are in our cells, ultimately there's that energy running through our bodies that communicate with us. And we can gain information about what our point of attraction is. I also learned from Karen that there's really only three things that we can do with our emotions. We look at it from the outside in, you know, and take action. Basically, we don't want something, we wanna get rid of it. So we blame others for the way we feel and we wanna get rid of that person because they're the one making us feel that way. So we cut off from that person. But what we're really doing is we're cutting off from ourselves. Second is the inside out. And where do you put that something that's inside? You can hide it, you can repress it, depress it, suppress it, oppress it. You know, you can project or shame onto somebody else. Or number three, you can have a direct experience and allow the emotions, allow yourself to accept that you have them and fully experience them and gain the information from them. Without experience or honest emotions, we can't learn what we need to or that what, what's going to serve us. And we can't benefit from being closer with those that we love in an intimate way. Because if you can't be honest with your own self and your own emotions, how can we communicate with others if we first haven't felt them ourselves? How can we describe something if we haven't experienced it, right? So getting in touch with your emotions and having a direct experience of them will help you become a master of your own energy and therefore a master at manifesting. So emotions are important and I hope you learn how to be with them. Literally, it takes 90 seconds to process an emotion. Instead of resisting it, expand into it, feel it, gain the communication. You'll find soon that it's gone. You know what? Let me know how this information has impacted you. Let's continue the conversation. And as always, if you haven't already done so, please go to ChristyWhitman.com and join the family. And if you like this video, please share it with your friends and family. Just remember, the universe is friendly and is always working for you. It's always supporting you and what you're asking for. You ask by the energy and the vibration you give out, and that includes the emotions that you experience. Thank you and have a great week.